Hey there, I'm Danny with the Barazza Support Team. Today I'm going to show you how to swap out the display on the Vario Plus and the Vario W Plus, as well as walking you through recalibrating the scale for the Vario W Plus. For this project, all you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flat head screwdriver, and a small pick. We'll also be going over recalibrating the scale on the Vario W Plus. For this, we just need a 200 gram calibration weight. If you don't have one of these weights, we'll go over how to make one a little later on. As always, our first step is gonna be unplugging the grinder. Now to remove the display, we'll first need to remove the knobs. The knobs on the Vario Plus and the Vario W Plus have two parts, an inner plastic knob and an outer metal cover. We'll wanna be careful to remove the two parts separately to avoid any damage. To remove the metal knob cover, take your small flathead screwdriver and wedge it between the top of the knob and the display and gently pry it off. Next, to remove the inner plastic knob, just wedge the screwdriver between the knob and the display again, but this time go in from the front of the grinder and pry off. Now that the knobs are off, we can remove the display. There's a small screw on the bottom of the display that holds it in place. We'll just unscrew that with our Phillips head screwdriver and set the screw aside with our knobs. Then take your pick and insert it into the small holes on the side of the bottom of the display to release the clips that hold it in place. Next, we'll carefully unplug the top two Molex connectors and lift the LED lights off their post. Now we can start installing our new screen. Install the LED lights on the new screen onto their posts. Plug the Molex connector back into their appropriate outlets. Slide the new screen into place on the metal casting and screw in the small screw on the bottom. Then find your macro and micro arms under the display, pop the plastic knobs back on, and slide the metal cover back over the inner plastic knob. If you have a Vario W+, you may find that you need to recalibrate the scale after replacing the display. To recalibrate the scale, I'll be using a 200 gram calibration weight. You can find these online or make one using an accurate auxiliary scale, your ground spin, and some coffee. To make a calibration weight, just turn on your scale, let it zero out, and place your bin on the scale. Add whole coffee beans to your ground spin until the total weight of the bin and the coffee reaches 200 grams. If you tear the weight of the bin and use 200 grams of coffee beans, your grinder scale will be off and your grinder will consistently weigh up more than your desired dose. To enter the calibration mode, we'll hold down the 1 and 2 presets at the same time, plug in the grinder, and as the grinder boots up, press the start stop button. The display will show the letters C A L to let us know that we're in calibration mode. And after a second or two of reading C A L, the display will show the number 200. When you see this, add your calibration weight. Once the scale reads this as 200 grams, the display will show the letters P A S meaning we've passed recalibrating the grinder and we're ready to get back to grinding. If you run into any questions during your repair, be sure to reach out to us at support at Thanks for watching and happy grinding.